If Cleveland really does want more in exchange for Kyrie Irving, the Celtics don't know the specifics. There has been no contact between the two teams since multiple reports surfaced that the Cavaliers, alarmed by the results of Isaiah Thomas' physical last Friday, now want more for Irving. The Celtics are said to have no contingency plan in place, due to the lack of contact between the teams, and no plan to either include another asset to make the trade go through or to draw a line and refuse further compensation. The Cavs, who have not expressed dissatisfaction to the Celtics, let alone make an alternative demand, have until tomorrow morning to void the deal. The sides can also agree to extend the deadline. The Celtics medical staff, headed by Dr. Brian McKeon, was in extensive contact with its Cleveland counterpart in the days leading up to the August 22 trade, with an equally extensive exchange of information stemming from Thomas' recovery from a torn lobberm in his right hip. Thomas missed the last 31 halves games of the Eastern Conference Finals because of the injury and ultimately decided against surgery to correct a problem the Celts claimed bothered the All-Star guard since adolescence. Comments from coach Brad Stevens and president of basketball operations Danny Ainge reflected the team since that Thomas had made the right call and that there had been an extensive opinion-seeking process. When the Celts settled in for negotiations, no timeline was given for Thomas' return to action. Ainge was similarly vague on the night of the trade, allowing that the point guard might not be ready for the season opener between the Celtics and Cavaliers on October 17 in Cleveland. The hip is, sore, Ainge said then. There could be something of a delay for Isaiah, but he should be fine. Thomas seemed to be of the same mind earlier this month when he spoke to the Herald while playing with participants in his annual summer camp at Boston University. The hip is great, he said. It's a real slow rehab process, but it's getting better, and that's what it's all about. Multiple reports now indicate Cleveland officials, including new general manager Kobe Altman, believe Thomas' return might be more delayed than the Celtics relayed. The Celts believe they were transparent with Altman at the time of the trade. Though subsequent reports also have the Cavaliers now aiming for Celtics assets like rookie Jason Tatum and second year forward Jalen Brown, don't expect that possibility to gain any traction. Ainge has heard those names mentioned before on the Cleveland wish list. The Cavaliers reportedly requested either Tatum or Brown early in negotiations and were rejected. That's not going to change now. Whether the Celtics agree to send one of their lesser picks remains unclear. There's no plan until they hear from Cleveland.